in the complex and expansive universe of New Eden. Just a few organizations have established themselves as thorough and fearsome as the Serpentis Corporation. A cutting-edge research and development company, Serpentis is in reality a major player in the illicit drug trade, dominating the black market with a blend of biochemistry and ruthlessness. I will now take you through a journey of the history, the operations and the culture of this notorious corporation, uncovering the dark underbelly of one of New Eden's most powerful criminal syndicate. Serpentis Corporation began as a small biochemistry firm under the leadership of Galente scientist Igil Saparti. Initially, the company focused on developing neural booster drugs designed to enhance cognitive abilities. However, when the Galente Federation banned these substances due to their dangerous side effects, the legal market for these boosters collapsed. Igil Sarpati's company was among the casualties, and it was this closure that set stage for a darker chapter in the Sarpati family legacy. The turning point came with Igil's adopted son, Verge Salvador Sarpati. After his father's death, the young Salvador took control of the family, and driven by a desire to restore these fortunes, he founded the Serpentis Corporation. Unlike his father, Salvador was unbound by legal constraints and ethical considerations. He chose to delve into illegal research, focusing on the very neural boosters that has led to his father's downfall. By relocating his operations to Serpentis Prime in the Phoenix constellation, it's a remote and lawless region, Salvador secured a base from which he could expand his drug empire, far from the reach of New Eden's law enforcement. Salvador Sarpati's success was not solely due to his business acumen. Recognizing the need for protection in the lawless region of New Eden, he forged an alliance with Angel Cartel, a powerful criminal organization known for its brutality, of course in exchange for a share of the profits, and some access to Serpentis research. So the Angel provided military protection, allowing Salvador to operate with impunity. The relationships between Serpentis and the Angel Cartel was mutually beneficial and it led to an establishment of the Guardian Angels. This is a division of the Angel Cartel dedicated solely to protecting Serpentis assets. This security allowed Serpentis to expand its operations throughout the Fountain region and even beyond, establishing a network of manufacturing and distributing facilities that supplied vast quantities of illegal drugs. The Serpentis Corporation is not just known for its drug trade, its history is punctuated by bold and audacious operations that has stunned the galaxy. One of the most infamous incidents occurred in YC-107, when Salvador Sarpati personally led a strike team to hijack the Federation Titan, the FNS Molino. This operation demonstrated not only the reach and the ambition of the Serpentis Corporation, but also Salvador's deep-seated hatred for the Galente Federation, which of course he blamed for his father's demise. Another notable event was the attempt of a theft of a Nix-class supercarrier from the Federation Navy in YC-108. Although this heist ended in failure, with the destruction of the supercarrier, it underscored the length to which the Serpentis would go to challenge and undermine the Federation. These acts of defiance against a powerful empire have only increased the notoriety and of course influence 
of the Serpentis within New Eden. Despite being an illegal operation, Serpentis Corporation maintains a corporate culture that mirrors that of many legit organizations in New Eden. And internally, employees are expected to uphold the appearance of a respectable research and development company. This is a charade that permeates all levels of the organization. This facade is maintained even as the corporation engages in drug smuggling, racketeering and other criminal activities. At the heart of Serpentis culture is a strict adherence to free market principles. Advancements within the organization is based on performance, with those who contribute to the corporation's profit being rewarded handsomely. However, this metriocratic system comes with a dark side. Failure often results in termination, and that is a term that in Serpentis carries a very literal meaning. Employees are also encouraged to partake in the product that they help to create, though moderation is strictly enforced. Salvador Sarpati himself enjoy seeing his staff indulge in the reward of their trade, but any failure resulting from drug intoxication is met with severe consequences. The use of combat boosters and psychoactive drugs is particularly prevalent among Serpentis security forces who are feared not only for their efficiency, but also for their emotionless, drug-induced ruthlessness. The Serpentis Corporation is, at its core, a reflection of its founder and leader, V. Salvador Sarpati. He is also known as the Snake. Sarpati's influence permeates every aspect of the organization. His genius, his charisma, have ensured that the corporation remains loyal to him, with all major decisions and strategies flowing from his desk. Despite his central role, Serpentis is a vast organization with an hierarchical structure that ensures competent management at all levels. Now the corporation's various divisions, including its formidable security force known as the Shadow Serpentis, operate with the efficiency that Sarpati demands. These elite forces is of course under the influence of their own combat drugs. While most of the Serpentis operation fall under the umbrella of the main corporation, one division operates in relative isolation, and this is the Serpentis Inquest. This shadowy branch is rumored to engage in highly secretive and forbidden research, including experiments in the artificial intelligence and cybernetic implants, and also alternate methods of cloning and consciousness transfer. The Inquest Division operates from a single research station in Serpentis Prime, and its activities are shrouded in mystery. Now Concord, the central authority of New Eden, has long suspected Serpentis Inquest from conducting dangerous and illegal experiments, but due to the remote location and the fortified defenses at the station makes direct intervention risky. The enigmatic nature of Serpentis Inquest adds another layer of danger and intrigue to the already formidable reputation of the Serpentis Corporation. And as of today, the Serpentis Corporation stands as one of the most powerful and feared criminal organizations. And this is despite occasional setbacks. Salvador Sarpati has maintained his empire's dominance in the illegal drug trade and has continued to challenge the Galente Federation, which he holds responsible for his family's fall from grace. The question that remains is what Sarpati's next move will be. With his enduring hatred for the Federation, it is likely that the galaxy have not seen the last of the Serpentis Corporation's bold and dangerous schemes. So the people of New Eden remain on high alert, watching and waiting for the next audacious act from the snake. Whether through daring heists, 
ruthless business practices or cutting edge and often illegal research. <laughs>